Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the unpopular makeup opinions tag. So if you want to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. Alright, so first of all, thank you very much to Tara Lynn for tagging me to do this tag. I think this is like only my second time that I've been tagged in a video, so I don't know, that's kind of exciting for me. So thank you very much for tagging me, Tara. If you haven't checked out her videos, you definitely should. She is so gorgeous. She has the most beautiful, glowy skin, and she's just really honestly the sweetest, so definitely go check out her videos. But without further ado, let's get into it. So the first question is popular makeup product that you don't like. Right away, what came to my mind was the Tarte Shape Tape. This guy just doesn't do it for me. I just, this is too thick. It makes my eyes look really, really dry. And sometimes I swear it makes my eyes look darker. And I know this is honestly just a personal problem because when I do makeup on other people, this is great because I love the coverage. But just on me, myself, I really like something a little bit more hydrating. And my under eyes don't really bother me too much anyways as far as darkness goes. So I just like something lightweight and a little bit more moisturizing under my eyes. I find that to be a lot more flat. Flattering. So for this on me, it doesn't work. I will say I always and always always try to get this to work I have been liking it a little bit more lately because I've been like mixing oil in with it or using just a dab of it with another Concealer, so I have been incorporating it because I do like the coverage of this, but it's not my favorite concealer I honestly used to hate it and everybody loves it so I thought I would mention this product. Question two is popular makeup product or brand that everyone seems to hate but you love. All right, so I thought about it and there's a couple of brands that I don't think people hate, but they just don't get enough love, okay? So the first one, I have two brands. So the first one is Bobbi Brown. I've said it in a few of my other videos. So many people overlook Bobbi Brown. I feel like lately they've been getting more attention, so I don't want to talk about that brand too much. But I don't know, I feel like a lot of people just kind of saw it as a brand that's boring and basic. And honestly, that's what I like about it. They have good quality products that are always going to work and they're always going to be timeless. Now recently they have been getting into a little bit more of the trend which I think drawn attention to it but I just I love that brand it is definitely like one of my top favorite brands, if not my absolute favorite. So if you haven't jumped on the Bobbi Brown bandwagon, you need to because a lot of people weren't talking about it, but now they are. Also, another brand is Lorac. Um, I don't think I really heard that much hate, but I feel like their line's a little bit more boring. They're a little bit more slow to release their products, and some of their products people haven't been liking lately. But I think when it comes down to it, they have an amazing eyeshadow formula. Now, they aren't these crazy trendy eyeshadows but honestly they are so beautiful and buttery they blend like a dream and I have every single one of the Lorac Pro palettes I love them I think they're fantastic I love the big palettes that they came out with over the holidays so I love Lorac I love their lip glosses I love their lipsticks I just really like Lorac and I don't hear anybody talking about them so I don't think there's a makeup product or brand that people hate necessarily but those are brands i feel like some people really just don't like or are not interested in so bobby brown and Lorac for sure question three makeup collab you didn't like or were not interested in personally thinking recently the bretman rock and ColourPop collection i just i wasn't that into it, it there was a really like ready warm palette as if i don't have enough red colors already and there was a really blue palette which just I don't know I feel like he did it to be colorful but like also ah, I just was not interested in that collection I don't really have too much to say about that collaboration I just wasn't interested in it I just felt like it wasn't that unique I'm trying to think was there any other recent collaborations that I wasn't interested in I mean there's been a lot of collabs that I just haven't been interested in, but that one definitely stands out to me. Also, I've never been into any of the MAC and Patrick Star collaborations. I've been into like one or two products, but for the most part, I haven't been into anything. Not interested in those at all. I love Patrick and I like to watch his videos a lot, but <sighs> I don't know. The His collections with MAC just never really screamed out to me to be honest so i never put any of my money into that collaboration and there were like what four different collections and i just none of them spoke to me color story wise i just 
I don't know. Just haven't been into it. Um, okay, question four. Popular makeup step you never do. I never contour anymore. I did. I used to be a contour, but I just come to find out that, like, if I bronze, I feel like I look fine. Every now and then, if I have a little bit of extra time and it's a little bit of a more fancy event, I will contour, but that's I have to think about it and force myself to do it, but I never contour anymore. I'm just not into it, especially powder contour. I do like a good cream contour every now and then, but for the most part, I never really contour at all. I'm just not about it. I, I, I mean, I do got some chubby cheeks, but I always feel like bronzer does the trick, you know? And I'm not too pressed on, like, making my face look thinner. Makeup can only go so far, you know? Question five. Popular beauty influencer you don't subscribe to or watch. Now, I don't want anybody to get offended by this. I'm a very, very neutral channel. I don't talk about drama. I'm not about that. So take this with a grain of salt. There's a ton of beauty influencers out there. And you know what? I'm just not going to like every single one or watch every single one. I don't have that much time. So two that I don't really watch. And this is like drama side. This is how I felt before the drama. Manny MUA and Laura Lee. I did watch Manny MUA a little bit more. But I still just wasn't that into his videos. And Laura Lee, I've never watched her videos. I've never really been into them. Like I said, I'm not talking about the drama at all. I'm just saying, like, there are so many beauty influencers out there. I don't know. I've just personally never felt, like, a personal connection to them or devoted to watching their videos. There's just so much more beauty influencers out there that I love. You know, I gotta be picky who I devote my time to, you know? I don't have a ton of time. <laughs> all right, question six. Popular makeup product or brand that you don't use or support anymore. Now, this one was kind of difficult for me. Um, I really couldn't think of anything. When I hear popular makeup brands you don't support anymore, I think that has something a little bit more to do with like ethics and things like that. And again, as Tara put it, and it's the exact same for me, I try to keep this about the makeup. I don't really want to talk about any of that outside stuff. It's just about the makeup. So there hasn't really been a brand that I don't necessarily support anymore. So I'm trying to... <sighs> and products that I don't use anymore. There are kind of two popular makeup products that were popular at the time. They've kind of died down, but I just don't really use these anymore. The whole holographic highlighter trend or colorful highlighter trend. Every now and then when I like try to tell myself to use these products, I'll use them. But in particular, I have the Moonchild Glow Kit and the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia. When these first came out, I was like, oh, these are amazing. I need them. I can't wait to incorporate these into my looks. And honestly, I never reach for these ever. I have to force myself to or Halloween time, I will use those. That's a once a year kind of thing. So yeah, these are just popular makeup products that I just don't use anymore. I did go through a phase when I was really into colorful holographic makeup, but now I'm just all about the shimmer and glitter. I don't need a holographic highlighter, you know? All right, question seven. Makeup trend that you have no interest in trying. This one, I'm very open to trying different makeup trends and things like that. Um, I see a lot of things on Instagram that I'm ne not necessarily interested in trying. Tara Lynn also said the same thing, but I feel like the whole face painting, like, full, very amazing artistic makeup looks, I personally have no interest in trying because I don't think I could accomplish that. And not only that, I'm really into, like, beauty makeup. That's the kind of makeup I like. I mean, I don't like natural makeup by any means, but I like to keep it about, like, beauty and things people can wear out. I'm not really into that whole artistic side. And, I mean, half of that is really just because I can't do it. So, <laughs> that, I think that's why. I just can't do it. I'm not that skilled, and I wish I was that skilled, but I have no interest in trying because I don't feel like failing. So, but I do like to look at the pictures and stuff, but a lot of times, like on my Instagram feed, I think those painted faces and everything are so amazing, but at the same time, when I scroll through my Instagram, I want to see like just beauty makeup and achievable things and inspiring things that I want to try to wear out and stuff like that, so... Again, I just think I don't want to fail. If you can do that stuff, wow. Question A, make a product that was better in theory than when you use it, either swatched better or worked better on others than on you. Oh, right away, I have to say, freaking liquid highlighter. I cannot get liquid highlighter to work for me to save my life. I try and try and try again, and I just cannot get it 
to work. It always breaks up my foundation and when I put it underneath my foundation, I feel like it doesn't show through anyways or I might as well just go in with a powder highlighter. I just... I want liquid highlighter to work on me so bad, but I just can't get it to work. And sometimes I feel like it looks unblended, like it looks really harsh on my cheek and I can't blend it out and it just dries and it looks gross. I don't know. I want to like liquid highlighter so bad, but it just doesn't work on me. It looks weird on my cheeks. It separates my foundation. It takes my foundation off, making my face look patchy and ruining my whole look. I don't know. If you have any tips for liquid highlighter, let me know, but I think I've tried them all and I just, I can't get into it. I can't. All right, and so that was the last question. So I hope you guys enjoyed my unpopular makeup opinions. I know I don't normally do tags or do talking videos like this, but it was a nice change. Let me know what you think. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So of course, so you can do that, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, comment down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. Also... If you're curious about who I'm tagging, I will put him down below in the description box. But if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I don't even know if I'm going to tag anybody. I don't have friends. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a great day. Bye.